Hi, my name is Robin Wong. I'm a photographer based in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. I have it with me the Olympus C8080. I think this camera was ahead of its time. I'm gonna talk about that in this video. Let's do this. This Olympus C8080 was launched in the year 2004. That's almost 20 years ago. The camera was launched before the first full thirds DSLR from Olympus, which was the E1, and that E1 was released three years later in 2007. So at this time, the C8080 was considered one of the top of the line cameras from Olympus. It features some really advanced features, and this camera can do a lot back then. I personally think that the camera manufacturers back in the day were a lot more adventurous with the camera experimentations and the earlier digital cameras were quite fascinating. This Olympus C8080 was no exception. Not only it has quite a funky design, it looks quite unusual, but this camera also has some features which were way ahead of its time. And I want to take a closer look at those features. And I think the formula that makes this camera the Olympus C8080 works, it still works today. And some of these features, they are the staples for the modern cameras. The Olympus C8080 features an electronic viewfinder. This camera, an almost 20 years old camera, has an electronic viewfinder and that's pretty amazing. The electronic viewfinder also has what you see is what you get, which is the live simulation of exposure as you adjust the settings, the aperture, shutter speed and ISO. You get to see the simulation live on the electronic viewfinder even before you press the shutter button. This is the mainstay feature for all mirrorless cameras today. And Olympus already saw this and they've implemented this electronic viewfinder feature in this almost 20 years old camera. The second feature that I really like is the tilt screen. The LCD screen on this camera is tiltable. You can go low angle, you can go high angle, you can tilt the screen down and up for creative compositions. Hey, not many cameras have tilt screen back then and for photography, I really treasure the flexibility for me to be able to tilt the screen for all these adventurous compositions and now all mirrorless cameras have some sort of tilt screen or swivel screen. Thirdly, the build quality of this camera is excellent. It is built like a tank, although it's just a semi-professional compact camera, but it is made of magnesium alloy body. The body is really, really solid. When you hold it in hand, it feels really reassuring and it just handles like a DSLR. Talking about handling, there is a beefy grip as you handhold the camera. It feels really secure and comfortable in your hand. I know the camera is slightly on the larger side, but the handling is very, very good. I can handhold this camera for long durations of time time without feeling any discomfort. Feature number four that I really like about this C8080 is the many, many shortcut buttons. There are many direct control buttons on the camera. You can access the settings and controls directly. White balance, roll to JPEG setting. You want to change from autofocus to manual focus. You want to activate the macro mode. You want to change the metering. And this camera also gives you an option to customize some of the buttons. I think that's really important to access these controls quickly. You don't have to dive into the menu. This was before Super Control Panel, so having direct shortcuts was really, really convenient. I wish more modern compact cameras have these shortcuts. Even if it's just entry-level or the low-level cameras, having shortcuts or having this direct access, it really helps the shooting experience. 
Feature number five on this C8080 that I really like, which I feel is underrated, is the fast power on time and generally very responsive camera operations. Something that a lot of newer cameras even fail to do. As you power on the camera, you press the power button, the camera powers on almost instantaneously. It takes less than one second to power on, the camera is ready for action. Feature number six I'm going to talk about is perhaps the most important feature on this Olympus C8080, which I think a lot of modern digital cameras cannot even get it right. It is the high quality optics. For a small sensor size compact camera, the image sensor is about two thirds of an inch, the lens on this camera is massive. This is a zoom lens. It features 28 millimeters wide angle all the way to 114 millimeters at the telephoto end. It's quite a wide zoom range, which is very versatile for a lot of shooting scenario. It also has a bright aperture from f2.4 to 3.5. That's really impressive for this lens. But because the lens is so huge, it has all the optical corrections already built into the lens. And bear in mind that this C8080 was launched nearly 20 years ago. No software correction existed yet. So all the technical flow controls were corrected by this lens. There's zero distortion. There is no chromatic aberration whatsoever, no purple fringing. I did not see any corner softness. The image was sharp from corner to corner, from edge to edge. And the sharpness and contrast were really impressive for a compact camera. It's all thanks to this massive zoom lens that's right in front of this small image sensor. I think Olympus did it right. They pay more attention in creating high quality optics to maximize the image quality. And I'm really impressed by what this lens can do. Remember, zero software correction, yet I did not see any flaws whatsoever. Having said all the amazing things about this Olympus C8080, I must also admit that this is quite a dated camera. It's showing its age. Well, the camera itself is quite chunky. It is unnecessarily large and heavy. For a small size image sensor camera, I would expect the camera to be maybe half the size or even smaller. And I definitely want it to be compact so that I can carry it around easier. For something at this size, I'd rather have an advanced mirrorless camera like micro Four Thirds camera or even a small DSLR. You definitely get better image quality with larger image sensor and the ability to change lens. The autofocus on this C8080, well, it is almost 20 years old. It's quite slow, so chances of missing shots is very, very high. Definitely not a camera for fast action or fast-paced shoots. And one thing that I must complain is that very slow raw processing time. If I shoot in raw, after I click the shutter button for a single photograph, it takes more than 10 seconds to write the file to process and write the file into the camera. And if I want to review the photograph, it takes another 10 seconds or more for me to see the photograph. It means that after I click the shutter button, I have to wait. And if something happens between that 10 seconds, I cannot use the camera at all. That's the recipe for you to miss a lot of shots. But hey, like I said, this is an old camera. I don't expect it to outperform any new cameras today. But the fact that it has a lot of features in the new cameras in this 20 year old's body and the lens itself, I tell you, this massive lens is better than any modern lenses in any compact cameras out there. There, is, there are some examples, some DNA and some blueprint on this C8080 that I think can be copied over and be replicated by newer camera manufacturers for the modern cameras. I think we can benefit from them. That's all I have to share about this old Olympus C8080 from the year 2004. Have you owned one yourself? Or do you have any other vintage, very, very old digital cameras from the earlier days? Do share your thoughts on these cameras in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. If you've enjoyed my sharing, or if you've enjoyed looking at my photographs, please consider buying me a cup of coffee. Or you can contribute directly to my PayPal. Links in the description below on how you can do that 
any small contribution goes a long way. It'll definitely help me to continue making more content and publish them right here. Until the next one, please go out and take more photographs. Bye-bye.